Oh, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're gonna be switching things up and we're gonna be going ice fishing. Ain't that right, bucko? Is Over that big enough for pheasants? Tee shot? Is that three and a half? Yeah. But as I was saying, we're going ice fishing today. We're out here with my good buddy. Oh, and you guys have seen him on the channel before. Just sometimes I make it out. But you are uh, Mr. I'm hunting Sodak Summer. Yeah, I'm I'm with hunting Sodak. <clears throat> Go check out his channel. It's pretty <clears throat> pretty dumb. I'm unsub to Dane, but unsubscribe to Dane Feldhouse. But Owen had texted me the other day and said he found some safe ice here in South Dakota. So hopefully we can get on some fish. He sent me this pin, and I'm just like, there ain't no way there's any fish in here. Um, Let's hope he, I'm wrong though. I'm really hoping there is fish in here. Owen said this has fish. I don't really know. He has already checked the ice earlier today and said it was good to go. So I'm excited and so is Owen. You need an auger or a shotgun? I Aaron? think we can Aaron? just, can we just <laughs> shoot the ice? <laughs> we could if you wanted. Sure. We it, could it just shoot the fun. ice. It sounds more fun. I walked out here earlier. See? Oh yeah. Oh boy, we're working on ice. This is weird. Owen did already check it, so we're just following his tracks here. But uh, yeah, he said it was good to go. How deep is this thing, Owen? About 30 feet. 30 feet. Dude, this is my ice checker earlier. Oh yeah? It's pretty good. Ball stand over there. Where's the hey, bird? Let me stand over here too. <laughs> I'm just going to stay back. Plug your ear. Okay. You know, I definitely felt that under my feet. Good. Hey, we got a hole drilled though. Safe ice. Oh yeah, look at those fords. We're gonna get all the ice fishing stuff together and uh, go ahead and start fishing, I guess. Not much really else to it. You know, you gotta take your safety precautions, obviously. And uh, me and Owen are out here together. I wouldn't recommend going out early ice by yourself. That would not be very ideal if you do fall in. Good thing we got Owen to help pull me out if I do. So uh, vice versa. The I'll... Fact that you'll touch bottom. We will touch bottom here, he says. So hopefully this thing didn't freeze out already. Packed light today, you don't need much, but look at this tiny slough. It's not very big. You know who helped me find the fish out here? Who? Dane fell out. Dane helped you find the fish out yeah, here. Yeah, huh? I said, Dane, there are no fish out there. And he goes, yeah, there are. Looks down the hole and there's big perch down there. We won't catch any today because Sam and I don't know how to catch fish. Not a lot of ice today. Oh, about three feet of ice, eh? <laughs> three feet, you'd say? I'd say about 10. Yeah, that seems about right. Oh, hey, we're going to give it a whirl. See what happens. Well, Owen's just cutting a bunch of holes. He said you gotta stay mobile. I mean, it is only four feet of water, so they are probably gonna spook really easily. We're gonna drop the paint optics on this hole. See, see what we can find here. Okay. Oh, this is, this is weird, Owen. Why? Cause it's three feet. No, cause we're fishing. We're on ice. We're on ice, brother. Oh yeah, German. Turn on. Wow, four feet of water. Right on. Wow. Why is my brightness all the way down? How do I work this? As you guys can see, it's four feet of water and there's Owen jigging. We're just gonna be jigging. Oh my God, there is fish. There's multiple fish. They're coming in hot. Uh oh, get them. Uh oh, look at this one. Well, those fish did not care about us. But we're using the 32 inch slap shot from Frostbite. Perfect for this kind of stuff. I don't know what's on it. Um, I just buck left shot. what, buck shot, okay. Something with rattles in a full minnow. A full minnow? Yes. Is that a move? You want to catch big fish? Okay, we'll listen to Owen, but they're, they're, that's what we're using. Buckshot with minnow, and uh, we're just going to listen to him. He set it up for me. Go back down there and see if we can't get one of these fish to come in. Well, I'm assuming that these fish are just roaming this tiny little slough just by themselves. And they're probably not going to be really schooled up. And if they are schooled up, well, they're probably gonna be the small ones, so. Just keep hole hopping and I lost my minnow, first drop. Right on. All right, Owen's gonna be cutting more holes. I'm, I'm still fishing. I still see some marks down there, but nothing crazy. Yeah, I've had a couple. Just, they're just swimming on bottom. They don't seem very big. Whoa! Here! That was me shocking him. Whoa, here! I'm gonna go get that coon. Is there actually a yeah. raccoon? Should I go get it? Is there actually a raccoon? Yeah. Yeah, go get him. Go get the raccoon. 
Owen's dog, pheasant dog, is on a raccoon, I guess. He's gonna go get him. All right, well, Owen's chasing the raccoon. I'm gonna set up a little tip up here, just a knife fish pro. So basically, if you guys don't know what this is, you can just fish it with the rod and reel instead of the hand line the fish in. So that way, you know, you get to fight it on the rod. But we do have to re-rigger. I don't think they're gonna wanna bite that. We're going simple, just a pink little hook. No raccoon, eh? We're just gonna hook the minnow right in the back there. And uh, let's get her in. Let's get her in, eh? Oh, now we're fishing. All right. Oh, we got the fish pro set up. Hopefully that can catch us a fish. I'm just gonna try a minnow head. Yep. I just wanna catch a fish. Yep, just a little baby one. Yep. I'm gonna have to switch lures, but hey. We're gonna rock with it. We're also gonna move. Here's a big mark. No, he lunged at it. There we go. Woo! Owen! We caught a perch! Oh my gosh, first fish of the 20, was it 2022? Yep. Dang, my boy. It's time. It is time. Oh, he loved it. He missed it the first time, came back, and just destroyed it. It will do. Probably a good nine inches, nine and a half, maybe 10. I don't know. Not really. Not really. I don't really feel like keeping fish today, especially out of this little guy. Wow, I got a flex on all the people. Hey, that is awesome. Let's freaking go. You know, gotta flex the first fish of the 2022 season, boys. Oh, did you get him? Oh, I got him. You got him? Oh, I got him. Now it's your turn. Well, <clears throat> I don't know how that's gonna work. Well, there we go. First fish of the day. That is freaking awesome, nice little perch. Hopefully Owen and I can figure it out and uh, clap some more. What's even in here? What are we fishing for? I, did, I, like, I, I showed up and I had no idea what we were gonna catch. Uh, perch, I think one time we caught a state record, uh, I forget what they're called, they're like a green sunfish. Oh sure. But like, that's such a crap fish, who cares? Right. You know? There used to be back in the day, walleyes, crappies, and smallmouth, but they dug the whole pond out to try to make it deeper so we could fit more water in here and it wouldn't flow over into all the other farmers lands so who knows what's in here to be honest well hopefully there's still some of those uh walleyes and crappies are in here but i you know it's slim we, who knows though hopefully we can catch some bullheads that's why i really came out here i think they like it oh well, some oxygen for them some fresh oxygen Ooh, good crack, good. Four six. Not a fish to be seen. Oh my god, I got a school of fish. No, where'd they go? Where'd they leave? Oh no. Here comes the school. Oh he had it! No. Drop back down quietly. Oh no! How doesn't this winter kill every year? Don't go to the other side. Okay. Well, Owen just missed a couple fish. I'm gonna come over here and show him how it's done. Let's see what's lingering down here. Huh? Oh my God. Come back. Oh, no. He was just sucking on it. Oh, I believe it. It looked pretty big on optics compared to all the other ones I've seen. There's a couple down here. They're just not playing. Owen, oh, I don't know what happened. 
I think we need to get that bobber over here, the tip up. The tip up? Yeah. You think that'd be a good move? We could, yeah. Well, I don't know. I just had three. Oh, this one's screaming. Oh, and he just went right underneath me. What's up with that? I got him. I watched that happen. <laughs> so I'm just tip, 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 boink. You know, in I shallow water like this, yeah, you just fly up. Move it. Nope, you don't get to fight them at all. They just kind of come right up and out. And splash you in the face. Nothing like some perch facials, but hey, at least we're catching some fish. Hey. She's just thirsty. Appreciate it. Good pup. <laughs> oh, I fish poo. Let's go, Owen. Yes. This is all you, buddy. Nope. Yep. I'll hold the camera. Here to the camera. Nope. Okay, you're too fast. Oh, that slide though. All right. Well, the line is not ripping, but it did go off, and it is off to the side. Jack is draw. Sure, you ripper. It's ripper. It's probably three inches. Oh. Ain't bad. Three <laughs> inches, he said. <laughs> yeah, that's a three inch perch. Do you got pliers? Nope. Right on. I can just eat them. He choked it. No, we got it out. Perfect. Hey, chill, buddy. Three inches. Three inches. He is bleeding a little bit, so we'll get him back in right away. See you later, buddy. Oh, man. let's go, dude. Let's get another one on the iFish Pro, huh? But next time you're catching it. Fair? Nah. Well, I guess we'll re rig and get a new minnow on. There we go. Little Pablo. There's a whole school. Getting him unhooked. Throw him on the ice for now. It's not cold out, so they're not going to die. But we don't want to scare the other fish that are down there. There's quite a few. So let's see if we can't get another one to come in. There's one more coming up. Little guys. Hey Owen, I caught one. Look at him. Oh Look at the shoulders on him. Beefcake. Absolute unit. Heck yeah. There he goes. There's a big school of them down there. Shallow over here. Three. There's fish. Big mark. I guess we are in three feet of water. There he is. Uh oh, we got a double? No. No, no. Oh, man. We got a double. Oh, we got a double, baby. <laughs> oh, and you're a beast, dude. Nothing spectacular, but it's a little one. It's a fish. Pablo, get him back in. We're just moving around this little pond. And uh, we moved shallower. There's some weeds down here. And, well, there's some fish. I was telling Owen it might be too shallow. And then all of a sudden, I see a big school. So, what do you know? Owen! Owen! You gotta get it! You! Yeah, I got the camera. I fish Pro went off. I haven't seen it take line, but it is kind of moving up there, so. Thinking there's something on there, buddy. Oh, I yeah. can't reel this in. You got it on the wrong side. Well, I'm not weird, so I got it on the right side. Oh, she's taking mine. What was that hook set? Maybe I should have taken it. Oh, there you go. I lost it. What is it gonna be? A baby perch. Just a little baby. Nice and chunky though. Oh, they eat well. What, do we, what, what is that, Bull? What do you think of that, huh? What is that? Oh wow, you did get customers all over you. Yep, you got birds in his ear. Oh yeah, he went off fine. Had a boy. Ready to clap the little guy. You got a heater? Oh, I can pee on your hands. Yes! 
Well, there we go. Owen caught a fish on the iFish Pro. We're just a little itty bitty guy. Hopefully, we can find those mondos that are in here. But our fish finder isn't working correctly. Yeah, he's not doing very good today. Point. Point them. Point them. I'm not a very good dog trainer, I guess. What got going on here, Bubba? Oh, line's not moving. Think we got a fish on here, Owen? Real, really fast. Nothing. There's a fish on there, though. There is a fish, but not the right fish. Well, rip, there's nothing on the iFish Pro, but uh, we're packing things up. It's been pretty slow out here. I mean, it is a pretty small slew, but uh, supposedly there's a lot of fish in here, but we only caught, what, we four or five or fish? We may or may not have shot a shotgun into the middle of the lake. Okay. Owen, thanks for taking me out. I appreciate it. We will see Bo you again. took us out, actually, today. Oh, did she? He, I mean. Bo. Hey, there are some geese flying over here. Get that gun ready. Those are some big boys. Rip. Complete other direction now. They didn't like it, I don't think. Nope. They saw the gun and were like, nope, not going there. That is going to be it for today's ice fishing mission. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys are going out on early ice, make sure you guys be safe. But we're going to pack up here and we'll see you guys back at the shore. He doesn't like it, eh? No, he's going to make me carry it. What a terrible sled dog. Mush. Mush. Come on, bro. Brisk tea, power up. We're back at the house, clearly. Um, sorry to leave you guys hanging there. And we just kind of jumped places without telling you guys what was happening. And I made an outro out there, but I'm not going to use that outro because I was actually looking through my DMs on Instagram. And a lot of you guys were asking, hey, Sam, I want to get into ice fishing this year. What do I need? I figured I might as well sit down and just kind of give you guys a brief talking about what you need for ice fishing. Obviously, the most important part is probably what you're going to be wearing. You want to be warm out there and you want to keep your feet dry. So I would recommend a good pair of boots. Second thing is you're going to need some good bibs. There's a whole bunch of bibs out on the market that are really expensive that will keep you warm and everything else, obviously. But the bibs that John and I wear are the ones that have the sure float. So make sure, you know, if you do fall in the water, you know, it helps you float. And that's just another thing that helps you be safe out on the ice is having a suit that will help you float and uh, keep you buoyant if you do just fall in the water. So next thing is probably rods. We've been using the frostbite rods. My favorite rod is the true grit or the slap shot. Those are my two favorite. It just depends on what you want to fish for. Those two rods are perfect for what I do when I fish for perch and walleye. The second thing is probably going to be an electronic. So using an electronic helps a lot. There's so much of different electronics you can use. You know, people can use underwater cameras where up here where I'm fishing, most of the water is dirty. So you're probably not going to want to use an underwater camera because you won't be able to see your lure. So I like to use either just a flasher, which I have a FLX 28 that Vexlar makes. And then I also have a Garmin. The only difference between those two is that the Garmin is really expensive and the FLX is still pretty expensive, but it's cheaper than the Garmin. And if you're not a serious fisherman, I would not get the Garmin. The Garmin just helps you see 75 feet out in front of you into where the Vexlar it shoots down a cone so you can just see like a five foot radius down below you it just shows you the depth of the water and then it shows where your lure is in the water column and then if a fish does appear underneath of you it'll show up nice bright and red and you can watch that fish come up and eat your lure it just helps knowing when there's a fish under you so that's all really a flasher does it just kind of shows you how deep the water is and it helps you find fish and that's a very important thing the next thing is probably an auger you can use a hand auger you can use an ice chisel which this early ice you can get away with the ice chisel that also helps with checking the safety of the ice if you have your spud bar or the chisel and you hit it twice and it doesn't go through the ice, you're probably safe to go. But uh, that's just always something nice to have. And then you can get into lures, which we use a lot of the frostbite lures. We like to use the dinner bells or we like to use something with rattles in it. I like fishing aggressive. So if I'm not fishing a dinner bell, I'm probably fishing a buckshot and that's just got some rattles in it. It's just some vibration and some sound down in the water really. So uh, those are usually my go-to lures. And I'm usually tipping it with live bait. You can also use plastics if it's really cold outside I'll use plastics but if it's not too cold I'll either spike it with wax worms spikes or a minnow head obviously we can get more in depth about ice fishing 
and what tackle, what more gear to use, but that's just some of the stuff that you'll need for this ice season if you're planning on getting out on the ice. And also make sure you guys be safe. I know some places don't have ice and some places do. This slew, we're lucky enough, it did have safe ice. So when you guys do go out, make sure you guys got your ice picks. If you do fall in, you know, a rope, make sure you tell people where you're going or make sure you go out with a buddy because that is the last thing I want to see is one of you guys falling into the ice and not being able to get out. Just because you guys see us ice fishing doesn't mean you guys should be going out as well. Just make sure your ice is safe and uh, you should be good to go. So with that being said, I hope you guys are able to find safe ice out there and get to catch some fish. And waterfowl season is coming to an end, which is unfortunate. There are still quite a few birds around. John and I might go out and chase some birds around still. I think we're gonna be switching gears though. Obviously we're still gonna be posting some duck hunting and goose hunting videos, but we're gonna be mostly switching over to ice fishing now. If you guys wanna see any extra content, my dad has a deer tag. I can go tag along with him when deer opener opens up this weekend. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing any deer hunting, pheasant hunting. So if you guys wanna see any more hunting videos, just drop a comment down below what you guys wanna see. Thank you so much for watching today's video and we'll catch you guys on the next one.